Hi, it's John. I'm in Dorchester. And, uh, I don't know, is it about the 14th? 14th of um, August. I quite like the town of Dorchester. Very picturesque, you know. Not too spoiled. I've been learning about Thomas Hardy. Um, well, there's a statue down here at the roundabout, Thomas Hardy. And I've started a few videos on it. But I realise I know nothing. So I ought to know more before I actually do a proper video about Thomas Hardy. Um, else I won't do myself justice and I won't do him justice. There he is over there looking over the town. Thomas Hardy. I'm uh, just popping into town and then going on the out of town, out of town supermarkets. But uh, I quite like going round this back way. It's um, right, nice and shady at this time of day. It's a bit of the old Roman wall. I won't look into it today, but uh, nice that it's preserved. I think about the Romans is they they did use some. Um, they weren't delicate, were they? They used huge stones to do their buildings. So this is West Walks. Now we're coming into um, Princes Street. shop down here called Down to Earth. Just coming up to it. It's health food shop. I, I have bought stuff in there. Um, but uh, I don't know, it's not easy to buy stuff in some of these shops now. One way or another. I wanted to talk about sort of rebellion. Um, you know, a lot of people rebel, don't they? And quite often you find yourself on the butt of rebellion, which isn't very nice, because you've got a plan, and then you find all the people you're planning to do it with uh, have got issues. There's coins in that fountain, but some of them are um, embedded in the, uh, in the concrete. They're foreign. This fountain lies close to the spot where Roman, a Roman aqueduct delivered water into Roman Dorchester and linked with a water main system which supplied the public baths and other properties around the town. Very nice. Thingy in the Roman style. I mean, some of the people have put coins in there, but they're um, mainly foreign and, and one piece. No, but getting back to it, I was talking about rebellion and um, there's all sorts of rebellions. Rebellions against education, rebellion against earning money, uh, rebellion against dressing normally, uh, rebellion against speaking normally. Um, uh, um, all sorts of uh, rebellions that people can go through against, against um, the norms, values and conformity of society. Um, but I am, I'm a bit, bit, bit boring, aren't I? But I would say it's, it's uh, what's it, cutting off your nose to spite your face. You know, you're never going to get anywhere. You, you, well, unlikely that you're going to get anywhere. Um, you've really got to, if you want to get on with life, you've really got to um, forget about those rebellions and just get on with what you want to do you know, focus on your ideals. If your ideal is earning a lot of money so you don't have to work at all, then get on with it. And then move on to not working. Um, it's like what they say, isn't it? Get real, get a life. <laughs> 